closer look at the homemade dump truck. I used a two inch ram and I have a, a electric hydraulic power pack. Probably only running at maybe 1600 PSI. Uh, the way the math did, I could probably lift about 1,500 pounds with it at that angle from rest on the bed. A little closer look here. Basically, I've built two frames. Uh, the lower frame is, uh, you know, much less sturdy than the upper frame, and it's on top of the original frame of the truck. Uh, I used the original mounts for the box, so someone could put a regular box back on. Uh, of the back is pivoting on one inch pins, just a simple hinge setup, uh, nothing too fancy. And you can see the ram is pushing from about the middle of the bed. So, like I said, you get about 1500 pounds uh, vertical lift force in the middle of the bed. So, it is only a quarter ton truck, so that was good enough for me. Uh, here you can see the power pack. It is double acting just because I wanted it to, you know, to be able to pull the bed down in case I was using it for other uh, situations. And there's my uh, switching solenoid. It's all mounted under the bed. Give you an idea of how I made the actual bed of it. It is uh, 2x4 steel and then I have 2x2 steel and you can see it's set right in, uh, notched out. And then it's all welded all the way around. So came up with a pretty strong structure, eh? and uh, I did triple up the center just because that's where the main push is on the ramp. So uh, the sides are uh, roll tubing. Made a little kind of headache rack set up here, and then I have plate steel making a small little box. Uh, it's only six inch plate, tall, but you know everyone's concerned about the capacity of it, but. With the extra space from uh, no wheel wells and such, you can put a lot of weight in here, more than the truck can handle. And you can see the uh, bed just sitting on that frame that I built. So. Uh, this is to give you an idea of the angle. I see, see I got the camera bolt flat. That's about the angle on my ram there. Uh, it's just basic... Uh, basic trigonometry to figure that out so I mean I got a two inch ram if you wanted to lift more you know you could if you could make the angle as steep as possible the more you're going to be able to lift but then you're going to start sacrificing uh, the angle on the bed when it's open and you know I didn't go with the scissor style lift uh, did a lot of looking into it and uh, the way I figure out with this quarter ton truck uh, I have plenty of force with just a single ram uh, a lot less moving parts, it's very simple. And uh, you know, if you're just doing a small application like this, I don't think there's anything really wrong with it. The only thing is you gotta get the uh, pivot point of this ram as low as possible in the truck. Uh, otherwise you're not gonna get the angle. And you do have to use a bit longer ram, but for the amount of hassle of building the scissor, this was, uh, I think, the best way to go. And I also mounted some tracks on the inside of the bed for strapping across. And I got some big lights just because this is my plow truck as well, but gives you an idea how big the bed is. I mean, that's quite a bit wider than the stock S10 bed, so the height of the box isn't as uh, much of an issue.